as India has vast and strategic coastline, Coastal Shipping Bill 2024 provides a framework for the long term of coastal economic growth. It aims to make coastal trade easier, more competitive, and better integrated with the national logistics policy. The Coastal Shipping Bill aligns 1. Local aspirations with national goals, 2. It also is in line with international best practices for adopting dedicated law for coastal trade, but adopted to suit Indian conditions. The Lok Sabha is now passed the Coastal Shipping Bill, 2024. Coastal Shipping Bill, 2024. 1. Provides a dedicated legal framework to boost coastal trade, propelling inland waterways and river in economies. 2. It also offers a low-cost logistics, reliable, and promote green transport, sustainable alternative to overloaded road and rail networks. 3. This bill will support the vision of Make in India initiative and will create thousands of jobs in shipbuilding, port services and manning of vessels. 3. It modernizes and streamlines coastal trade regulations, while upgrading and addressing gaps in the provision of earlier legislations like Merchant Shipping Act, 1958. 4. It introduces key provisions for licensing and regulating foreign vessels in India's coasting trade. 5. To enhance transparency, coordination, and data-driven decision-making, this bill mandates the formulation of a national coastal and inland shipping strategic plan and establishes a national database for coastal shipping. 6. The bill also regulates foreign vessels chartered by Indian entities and outlines penalties for violations aligning with the government's push for decriminalizing laws. 7. The bill ensures legal clarity, regulatory stability, and investment-friendly policies, strengthening India's maritime security and advancing the vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. 8. The integration of coastal and inland waterways will promote regional development of riverine and coastal areas alike in the country. 9. It simplifies procedures, promotes growth, and integrates coastal shipping into India's modern logistics network, ensuring efficiency, sustainability and competitiveness in the maritime sector. 10. It builds on key reforms, including prioritized berthing, green clearance channels, and GST reduction on bunker fuel. 11. This bill grants the DG Shipping Authority to seek information, issue directions, and enforce compliance, while empowering the central government to provide exemptions and regulatory oversight, ensuring streamlined and efficient coastal shipping operations in India. 12. It will ensure cooperative federalism. The bill provides active representation for states and union territories in key mechanisms, reinforcing India's commitment to a streamlined, inclusive, and efficient maritime sector. 13. It also expands the category of charterers allowed to hire foreign vessels, including Indian citizens, NRIs, OCIs, and LLPs. 14. The overarching goal of the bill to develop a coastal fleet owned and operated by Indian entities will lead to reduced dependence on foreign vessels for critical or as relevant for our country's coastal shipping. 15. Key provisions of the bill include the removal of the general trading license requirement for Indian ships, reducing compliance burdens and enhancing ease of doing business. Bill also provides a forward-looking, holistic framework aligned with global cabotage practices. 16. Foreign vessels can engage in coastal trade only under a license issued by the DG Shipping with conditions that support Indian shipbuilding and employment for seafarers. 17. The bill mandates a national coastal and inland shipping strategic plan revised biennially, to improve route planning, forecast traffic, and integrate coastal shipping with inland waterways. 18. The integration of coastal and inland waterways will promote regional development of riverine and coastal areas alike in the country. 19. This bill will also give impetus to the long-term vision of development of coastal and inland waterways transport in states such as Odisha, Karnataka and Goa among others. 20. The integration of coastal shipping routes with inland waterways, which often traverse multiple states, calls for collective planning and coordinated execution. 21. A. Committee comprising representatives from major ports, state maritime boards, 
and experts will draft the National Coastal and Inland Shipping Strategic Plan.